Kieran, all I can say is fair play to you. It's brilliant what you've done here. The salmon of knowledge is on a huge wall in Drogheda and you're the artist. Uh, finally, <laughs> and thank you very much. Yeah, we've all been involved, you know, it doesn't get there on your own either, you know, but it's, it's incredible to have it finally on the wall. Yeah, one of, one of the dreams is, is come true, you know. Yeah. Mm -hmm. This artwork didn't just arrive onto the wall, there was quite a bit of planning, including a photo shoot, wasn't there? Yeah, there was a lot of planning involved, uh, from fire jugglers, uh, proper film costumes, um, makeup artists, all, all sorts, you know, and um, the props, etc. So we went out to Fix Pool, just four, half a mile south the river, and uh, recreated at night uh, the whole, the fire, the catching of the salmon. Uh, that's my godson, Jake, he played the character Finn and Christy Finglas played the character Finnegus. So, um, yeah, Brilliant. that was that. Yeah, a lot of work. So, here on the process of research, I mean, you didn't just open a book one day and read the story and that was it. Yeah. There was quite a bit of research involved, wasn't there? Yeah, no, I stumbled across it while on a project in third year in art college, and then I started to really get into it. It was about 15 years ago or whatever. And then I came home to Drogheda, it was about seven years ago, and I was kind of hungry to get working more on that piece again. And that's how I was introduced to Richard Moore and then yourself. Yeah, and we'd written about a lot of the mythology of the Boyne in Ireland of the Setting Sun, and yeah. that was like a gift to you, like, here you go, here's all <laughs> the myths. And It was literally, it was so overwhelming, the amount of information. Uh, uh, on this area in Drahad alone is absolutely huge, you know, and uh, the meetings were brilliant. Hours and hours of drinking tea and just getting fed this incredibly rich information, you know. So that just kept spurring and spurring into, you know, more images, more ideas. An awful lot of people who come to Brunabonia marvel at the megalithic art on the stones because yeah. it's the greatest collection anywhere in Europe. But nobody knows what it means. Yeah. And in, in this mural, you've tried to portray the idea that it, a, 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 in one moment, Fionn McCool sort of, pff, in a, a mind-blowing moment, gets it, he understands it. Yeah, yeah. No, I was, I was trying to figure out how to... I, I did want to bring the artwork into the wall somehow. And playing about with it, I kind of had it, maybe there'd be some stones sitting around them or something like that, but it was just one of the nights I was playing around with an idea. It was actually during doing the mural that you, you get the inspiration. I was like, oh, maybe if I put some of the artwork of it actually around them, as in what happens when you do get that amount of knowledge, that amount of information, and you talk to it, like, well, obviously then you'd understand all the ancient artwork on that on the stones, you know, yeah, so. Brilliantly done. Yeah. That's Curbstone 15 at Nouth. Yeah. A lot of people might yeah. not know that, but they'll yeah. have seen it, but they might yeah. know which one it is. Yeah. And it's lovely when someone does message you online or something and go, that's, that's that stone, and you're like, yeah, 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 yeah. it is, yeah. So that's, that's a compliment, you know. Uh, one of the things that myself and Richard were asking for years and years was, you know, did people living in ancient Ireland have their own constellations? Because the ones we know are all sort of Arabic and Greek, and they're from other parts of the world. Yeah. And, and we, we were sort of intensely excited about that idea and you sort of took that on board with this mural yeah. by incorporating it in. Yeah, no, uh, it was from them meetings, obviously, I just became fascinated with it. And when I asked Richard, uh, saying what would the stars have been like 4,800 years ago, we were looking at it and we said, wow, Pisces is rising. And it was rising on the area where we actually did the photo shoot. So that's what you have then, is you have Pisces rising at the time. So there is a connection between the stars and the stories. And then that gets dotted then onto the landscape, you know. Pisces, obviously, yeah. representing the salmon, yeah. the fish. Brilliant, yeah, yeah. yeah.